Greetings, everyone. This is First in 2753 with the next uh, episode of Geopolitical Simulator 4, Power Revolution. Free and Democratic North Korea. We are going into uh, into election into the election. Okay. Um, this is it, basically. It's like six days out. I don't know what type of promises to make. <laughs> I just promised retirement pensions, and like the party hates that. It's a communist party, and you hate pensions. I don't get that. Um, and I also don't get the fact that they don't like minimum wage either. Which I'm not even going to go into that one. Every time I try minimum wage, if I ever try minimum wage, and I've done a couple playthroughs, minimum wage gets you booted out of office. Face to face campaign. Here we go. Here goes nothing. Education spending, I think. Education and medical spending. And I could also do a sales tax cut probably. Good evening. The highly anticipated debate. I like the idea of will research. Begin in a few moments' time. The Maybe candidates we'll research are ready. Medical Naturally, stuff or the environment. We will ensure that they are given equal speaking time. This will be closely monitored. We have also set up a new instant polling system to gauge viewers' reactions to the candidates' arguments and, in some ways, define the winner of the debate. Let's get to the first part of the program. Underway now. The candidates will take it in turns to comment on various issues of importance to our fellow citizens. So, what's your opinion on the matter? Health and Social Security. I think we need more doctors. How much does this cost? That costs nothing. How much does this cost? Nothing. Reimbursement for prescriptions. Fully funded. Let's do it. It is essential oh, in a society man. where the demand for health care is constantly increasing to ensure access to quality health services. I can assure you that I will mobilize the necessary means to guarantee this fundamental right. I really just don't want to be creamed in this one, I think. And moving on, what would you like to say about this? Reimburse for hospital treatment. It is essential. Did not in beat a me on that one. Society where the demand for health care is constantly increasing. Prescriptions. To ensure Prescriptions to are better. Health services. I can assure you that I will mobilize the necessary means to guarantee this fundamental right. Thank you. Well, let's move We're on promising to drugs. another issue. Environment. So, Ooh, I want to do this. What's your opinion on the matter? Combat noise pollution. Noise pollution? That's a joke. The environmental safeguard. The transition. Skip that. Very well. Coming over to you. Where do you stand on this? Anything you want to add? All right, I can't do research, so I have to address some sort of environmental situation here. Uh, I'm not going to touch that. I like the development of green spaces. 11,000, that's nothing. The environmental safeguard. The okay, transition hey, that's towards a, move a clean either. economy. Energy change. All right, looks like we're neutral there. Biodiversity. Yes, ecology will be at the heart of my priorities. Thank you. It's now time for the second part of the program. All right, two rounds. The candidates will be and able to ask each by other questions small part. directly. Well, I would like some clarification on this matter, huh? which you've bandied about, in my opinion, throughout the campaign. I guess I didn't go all in. I guess I didn't go all in on the transportation. High speed train miles. Let's. Ah, problem's already dealt. Now, let's go for highway miles. Let's say I'm gonna go 1,000. That's a lot of money. <laughs> I'm gonna go 500 highway miles. Or. Cancel that. 
budget. Let's just play it safe here. Rail transport. Road transport. Let's fully fund road transport. How about that? And rail transport? Can I do both? No, I can only do one. We must guarantee the Did efficiency not budge. and reliability of our transport services. all in on the uh, 500 the miles The same of goes for competitiveness of our businesses, the management of our territories, and the daily life of citizens. I will continue to back this ambitious social policy. Okay, let's go into where we're going to hit him the hardest work. I would like to hear you talk about this subject, as I feel you've been quite vague as to where you stand. Fight against child labor, reducing it? In these difficult okay. times, it is essential that the government services agree to some budgetary sacrifices. Hey, that was a good move on me, on my part. What is more, in certain domains it is possible good to do just as well with less. I will therefore commit to this now it's time for my, perspective uh, of debt reduction, bomb which dropper. will protect generations to come. Thank you. We are now coming to the end of the debate. I would like to ask both candidates to wrap up now and perhaps share one final promise with us. Freedom of teachers. Current value indoctrination. They want school programs censored on delicate questions. You are that well seemed pretty aware popular. of my deep commitment to individual and collective freedoms. As wow. any responsible citizen, I will work to respect and develop these fundamental principles which guarantee proper democratic functioning and are consistent with the evolution of every modern society. Okay, I'm going to try it. Purchasing power drives economic growth. Ah, not enough. Because consumption stimulates demand, and this creates investment. Our fellow citizens will soon be back spending money in the shopping Well, we didn't get killed. Because I guarantee they will have the money to do so. Thank you once again I've gotten killed to both of you for much the more. I'm winning the popularity debate. program. And to all our value. Oh my God! I think it's going to be another close election. To gain a greater perspective on our candidates. Good evening. Our instant polling system has designated a winner. Good evening. Sixty-three percent of viewers found the opponent's participation more convincing than yours. Sixty-three percent. That's not too bad. Here comes the election. I don't know what's gonna happen. Candidates, there's at 72 program popularity, mine's at 32. Come on, I gotta win this. Elections will begin tomorrow morning across the country. Some 18.7 million voters will be called on to express their opinions. And here it comes. This could be a complete disaster. This could be the end of the series. Or it means that I will go on and progress. What will happen? I don't know. Something has happened. Here we go. Good evening. The majority of votes have been counted. Take a look at this. I hate this. Yes! Ha ha! There it is. Oh, this is a huge win. 28% to 71. Yes! We are now going to go live to the new head of state at their campaign headquarters. It is with pride that I am speaking to you on this day of victory. Our party this. was able to impose its vision. Because I want this. It is to those who voted for us that I wish to pay a special tribute. Thank you, my friends. We will once again prove ourselves worthy of your trust. There it is. The balloons are flying. Confetti's falling. North Korea, free democratic elections. No voter fraud whatsoever. And we won big time. Final score. 
71.2. Historical percentage. What is that? Final results breakdown. Score for historical percentage. What is that? Is that like a automatic big advantage or something like that? I never saw that before in a election campaign result. Score for political program. I got 73 to 26. That's one of the best scores I've ever seen for my political program. Popularity is 81%. Uh, Telfy's debate. Uh, he beat us there. Score from groups. We got 65 to his 34. Score from regions. 92. That's huge for the regions. Uh, let's see. Associations. He won associations. I don't know. I can't get these associations. But I seem to have everybody else on lockdown here. Artists. Athletes. Athletes by a lot. Artists by not so much. Uh, clergy. Is there religion in North Korea? Associations. We had four. Let's see. Cancer, consumer, drivers, ecologists. Ecologists didn't vote for us. Give me a break. I never get these associations. Union. We got a ton of that. See, I don't know if I want to free up the union. I can't free up the union. Because I look at that poll. They don't, people don't like it. The Buddhist community seems to like me. And then we got every region by a long shot. I don't really know, I understand how all that works, but I won and I'm happy for it. So feel free to post, let me know what you guys think. Now I have all these promises to make. Look at all this stuff. Okay, we have to do a sales tax cut. We have to do a lot of tr road transport, high, high speed trains, uh, reimbursement on prescription. We have to pay, establish allowance, pay for job seekers, establish allowances for families, establish monthly rent for low salaries, develop green spaces, change the minimum retirement pension, and research agro food. So those are the elections we have to, our promises we have to do. Election turnout was at 75%. Um, Head of state. Length of head of state's term. I'd like to change this actually to 10 years. Let's see if I can get away with that. After that victory. No, I cannot. Can I change it to six years? Yes. But the question is oh, the other party won't like it. My party loves it. Confirm that. Legislative elections, you're back. The parliament has just gathered to decide on the new head of state, Mr. President. Since you have been reelected, sincere congratulations. Reelection of me as the head of the parliament. It Don't forget the ecology. advisable for the government to tackle the big environmental challenges that. Okay, let's see where my budget situation is here. Excess is 1.4 billion, almost 1.5 billion dollars. We're down to about 12 billion dollars in debt. I wonder how much I can get this paid down. Where is my election? Right now, the next so congressional elections are on the 6th. We already saw that. Okay. I'd like to congratulate you in person for your popu great popularity. I want that law to pass. And then maybe I'll find out when my next law in progress on the 17th. Let's get this law passed, extend my term to six years, and then we'll see when I need to go for another re-election. And we'll decide what I want to do first. Inflation is leveling out, 3.94, slowing down there. Growth is at 7.4, which is a great growth number. I love it. Unemployment is down to 5.25. My GDP is up to 32 billion. And I am sitting pretty, I think, right now. I am pretty happy with my economic situation. I'm happy with my political situation. Just won the election. North Korea is on the rise. GDP is up. 
since I got into office. GDP was at, oh no, not too much. Only up uh, 2.8 billion. 2.8 billion in less than a year, that's not bad. What is that? All right, law has been passed. Syrian Brethren has captured one of our journalists. Which means I should be able to get involved in that, but the last time the I tried that... The bill has been voted on, and the law has been passed. All right, we have now extended our term of head of state. Last time I tried to get involved in that Syrian conflict uh, with Angola, that kind of screwed up the whole series, so... Right now I'm going to sit on the sidelines. Honestly. Have you ever thought about our children's future? What is your problem, dude? All right, I'll give you your green spaces. 11,000, that's nothing. Cost us nothing in the budget. Hopefully that will subdue that guy and fulfill one of those election promises. And then the next thing... I think I want to f fully fund that research, the agro research, right away because it's cheap and it could have uh, good long term investment results. Come on, where's that environmental boost? Give me a bump for that environment. You gotta be happy with me now. Come on. Alright, that guy's tough to please. Did I fulfill the promise, though? Did I get the promise fulfilled? Candidates. Program. Yes. One promise fulfilled. Let's go ahead and fulfill another one. Research. Agri food all the way doesn't cost us anything and hopefully we'll get some new food inventions that'll uh, feed the whole population okay come on click over to Sunday there There we go, research, agriculture, boom, double impact there. And that basically, that'll give us another campaign promise, right? There we go, two campaign promises fulfilled out of how many did I make? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, 20% of my campaign promises fulfilled within the first, less than, within the first month. And uh, I'm pretty happy with this whole situation. Uh, I won the first uh, free and democratic election in North Korea. Didn't have to promise as much as I thought I was going to have to. I extended the term of the president, which now makes the next elections uh, November of 2022. I got plenty of time the next election that's great I can get a lot of stuff done um, so uh, I think I'm definitely gonna try to pay off the total amount of debt we still have to add some more freedoms here and we're gonna try to make the economy more free by um, starting to privatize and uh, yes I will cut the company taxes uh, I do have to cut sales taxes and meet all my other promises too. Get, make sure I get that done first and our budget excess is 1.59 billion dollars less than 12 billion dollars debt public debt has decreased enormously oh that's about a third it's gone down almost it's almost gone down a third within a year so that hopefully means in two years probably less I can fully pay off all the debt and then we'll be looking really good. No debt. Free elections. It's looking good. Thank you for watching, everybody. Feel free to comment down below. Let me know what you think. Please uh, like and subscribe if you haven't done so. And you do like the videos. 
Uh, also, you can support me on Patreon. I'm going to try to get that link uh, by the end of the week here. And um, have a good day. See you later.